Arab separatism in Khuzestan refers to a decades-long separatist movement in the western part of Iranian Khuzestan, which seeks to establish a separate independent state for its Arab residents, from what they define as Iranian occupation. The struggle is often defined as an ethno-religious dispute between predominantly Arabs from the western part of Khuzestan and the Iranian revolutionary Shia government. The Iranian government denies that ethnic discrimination or conflict exist in the country. Topic. Background Khuzestan is inhabited by many different ethnic groups, including Bakhtiari, Iranian Arabs, Kashke people, indigenous Persians and Armenians, Minorities at Risk Mar, a university-based research project, states in its website that Arabs in Khuzestan have experienced discrimination. Most Arabs in Khuzestan are Shia Muslims. Both the urban and rural Arabs of Khuzestan are intermingled with the Persians, and Lurs who also live in the province and often intermarry with them. History Sheikh Khazal Rebellion Khuzestan has been a troublesome province of Iran since the ascent of the Pahlavi rule in the 1920s. In the two decades before 1924, although nominally part of Persian territory, the western part of Khuzestan functioned as an autonomous emirate known as Arabistan. The eastern part of Khuzestan was governed by Bakhtiari Khans because the eastern part of Khuzestan was mainly inhabited by Bakhtiari people. With rising power of Reza Khan and his increasingly negative attitudes on tribal autonomies in Iran, tensions with Sheikh Khazal of Mohammara had grown from 1922 to 1924. Attempts to withdraw more taxes and reduce Khazal's authority heated it up even more. In response Khazal al-Khabi initiated a rebellion. The short rebellion by Sheikh Khazal, at its peak in November 1924, was quickly crushed by the newly installed Pahlavi dynasty with minimal casualties. The emirate was dissolved by Reza Shah government in 1925, along with other autonomous regions of Persia, in a bid to centralize the state. At least 115 people died in the insurrection. A low-level conflict between the central Iranian government and the Arab separatists of the western part of the province continued since. Topic: <laughs> Unrests and revolts 1920s to 1940s. Riots broke out as early as 1925, then in 1928 and 1940. The name Khuzestan came to be applied once again to the entire territory by 1936. In August 1941, Reza Khan was replaced by his son Muhammad. New revolts in Khuzestan under new Iranian leadership occurred in 1943 and 1945 and were quelled in blood. In 1946, the al sada party was founded in Muhammar and demanded the independence of Khuzestan. The Iranian army took advantage of its conflicts with the Communist Party, Toda, to commit massacres. Insurgency Later in Arabistan, new independent or autonomous parties came into being, the Arabistan Liberation Front. In 1956, the National Front for the Liberation of Arabistan and the Arab Gulf. In 1960, in 1967, the Arabistan Liberation Front became the Al Awaz Liberation Front. Sporadic Arab insurgency in Khuzestan continued through the 1950s, but reduced in the final decade of Pahlavi rule 1970s. Topic: 1979 uprising. With the change of regime, the 1979 Khuzestan uprising became one of the nationwide uprisings which erupted in the aftermath of the Iranian Revolution. The unrest was fed by demands for autonomy. The uprising was effectively quelled by Iranian security forces, resulting in more than a hundred people on both sides killed combined. The Iranian embassy siege of 1980 in London was initiated by an Arab separatist group as an aftermath response to the Iranian crackdown in Khuzestan, after the 1979 uprising. 
Initially, it emerged the terrorists wanted autonomy for Khuzestan, later they demanded the release of 91 of their comrades held in Iranian jails. Political separatism 1999 -present. <laughs> ASMLA establishment In 1999, the Arab Struggle Movement for the Liberation of Awaz ASMLA was established by Habib Jab al-Kabi in order to pursue political struggle for the independence of Awaz Khuzestan. Civil unrests 2005–15 In 2005, a wide-scale unrest broke out in Avaz and the surrounding towns. The unrest erupted on 15 April 2005, and lasted for four days. Initially, the Iranian Interior Ministry stated that only one person had been killed, however an official at a hospital in Avaz said that between 15 and 20 mortal casualties, consequently, a series of bombings was carried out in Avaz and other cities in Iran in late 2005 and early 2006, blamed upon Sunni Arab separatist groups of Khuzestan. The 2011 Khuzestan protests, known among protesters as the Avaz Day of Rage, erupted on 15 April 2011 in Iranian Khuzestan, to mark an anniversary of the 2005 Avaz unrest, and as a response to the regional Arab Spring. The protests lasted for four days and resulted in 12 to 15 protesters killed and many wounded and arrested, one security officer was killed as well, and another wounded. Crackdown on Arab political opposition in the area continued since with arrests and executions. Four Awazi men were executed in Iran on June 2012, in relation to the 2011 unrest. The crackdown on Arab Sunni opposition has been condemned by the Human Rights Watch, Amnesty, and others. In 2013, bombings were carried out in Avaz, reportedly made by the Arab Struggle Movement for the Liberation of Awaz ASMLA. .On 23 March 2015, a football match discontent resulted in anti-government protests in Avaz. Local football fans defiantly expressed support for Saudi Al-Halal football team during the match and burnt pictures of Ayatollah Ruhollah Khomeini, the late Iranian spiritual leader who spearheaded the 1979 Iranian Revolution. The Opposition National Council of Resistance of Iran said that fans further carried banners declaring that we are all Yunus, a reference to a street vendor, who immolated himself a few days before the match in the nearby city of Khorramshahr. In parallel, Iran's state-run press TV has broadcast confessions of captured ASMLA members who said they had carried out scores of attacks. An Arab protester was killed by Iranian security forces during the events. On the 2nd of April 2015, three Iranian officers were killed by unidentified gunmen in the city of Hamidia, about 25 kilometers (15 miles) west of the city of Avaz. Additional two casualties were sustained by the Iranian security on the 26th of October 2015. Topic: 2016. In early June 2016, a Sunni group known as Sukor al Avaz, Hawks of Avaz blew up the Bo Ali Sina petrochemical complex in Bundar e Mashar, Khuzestan. On July 2016, on two occasions, Awazi militants of Al Farouk Brigade of the Awazi National Resistance blew up pipelines in the Johar as Sabah district. Reportedly, members of the Al Farouk Brigade managed to escape after the operation, despite efforts of the security forces and revolutionary guards to track down the offenders. According to Algaminer, the group responsible for the 11 and 17 July attacks was Sukor al Avaz. Hawks of Avaz. In August 2016, Iran executed three men, charged with terror attack which led to the death of three Iranian policemen in Khuzestan province back in April 2015. On October 2016, a young girl was killed, when Iranian security forces attempted to arrest her father, wanted for security reasons. Topic 2017 In early April 2017, a Wazi activist killed by besiege militia in Mashur City on the 15th of May 2017, suspected Arab separatist gunmen killed two police officers in Avaz. On October 2017, Ahmad Mullah Nisi, head of the Arab Struggle Movement for Khuzestan, was assassinated in the Netherlands. Topic 
2018 Massive demonstrations erupted in the Khuzestan province during April 2018, spreading from Awaz to several large cities of the province. Ten people were reported killed in a fire during one of those demonstrations, which was blamed on Iranian intelligence services by the protesters. On September 22, 2018, a group of terrorists opened fire on the Iranian Revolutionary Guards Parade, killing 25 soldiers and civilians in Avaz. The Avaz National Resistance, an umbrella organization of all armed separatist movements, claimed responsibility for the terror attack. The responsibility for the attack was claimed in parallel by the Avaz National Resistance and the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant. The Iranian government blamed ISIL for the attack and retaliated. Casualties Total estimate 206 to 345 killed 1922 to 2017 1922 minus 1924 to 115 plus killed during Sheikh Khazal rebellion 1979 to 25 minus 112 killed during 1979 Khuzestan uprising 1980 to 7 killed during Iranian embassy siege in London 2005 to 1 minus 50 killed during 2005 Avaz unrest 2005 minus 2006 to 28 plus killed in Avaz bombings. 2011 to 13 minus 16 killed in 2011 Khuzestan protests. 2012 to 4 executed in response to 2011 protests by Iran. 2015 to 6 killed in three incidents. 2016 to 1 killed, three executed. 2017 to 4 killed. 2018 to 10 minus 39 killed. Topic: <laughs> Human rights. While all Khuzestanis are accorded full respect in the Iranian constitution, in practice and through social exclusion, they suffer discrimination. Arabs face restrictions on use of and instruction in Arabic language. While the moderate regime of Khatami had put into place some remedial policies for the Arab population, these were removed under Ahmadinejad. Following mass protests in 2005 and 2006, Arabs have faced generally repressive policies placed on the entire population. <laughs> <laughs> Arab organizations in the conflict There are a number of Iranian Arab political parties operating in exile, but no known political party representing other ethnic groups in Iranian Khuzestan. The ideology of Arab parties varies, although most are secular in their political outlook. Ideology, tactics, tribal loyalties and personal ambition have prevented these parties from forming a united front. Some advocate armed resistance, while others believe in nonviolent action. Most refer to the entire province of Khuzestan as Al Awaz, which only refers to a region in the southwest portion, or Arabistan, although some define Arabistan as also including territory along the Persian Gulf coast to the Strait of Hormuz. Whether these views are popular or even accepted amongst most Iranian Arabs is uncertain. Khuzestan's deputy governor Rahim Fazilatpur claimed that the Arab martyrs of Khuzestan, the Al Awaz Arab People's Democratic Popular Front AADPF and the Awaz Arab Renaissance Party AARP were given support by the British and US governments to carry out the bomb attacks of June 2005. The Arab political parties are divided into two camps, those seeking a separate state and those seeking regional autonomy within a federal Iran. Critics of these parties claim that separatism has no support among Arabs, pointing to the decision by many Iranian Arabs to defend Iran during the Iran-Iraq War. The support shown by Iranian Arabs may have been a result of the knowledge of Shiite Muslims in Saddam's Iraq. They also contend that separatism has always been instigated by foreign governments, particularly the British, to weaken Iran in order to control the country's natural resources and extend their influence over the Middle East. Many make no distinction between separatists and federalists, claiming that those seeking federalism have a separatist agenda and that the devolution of power to regional ethnic groups would lead to the breakup of Iran. Islamic Reconciliation Party 
The Islamic Reconciliation Party also known as the Reconciliation Committee was the only known Arab group to have been tolerated by the Iranian government. Jasim Shadidzadeh al-Tamimi was the party's secretary general. He was a member of the 6th Majlis 2000 representing Awaz as a member of the Islamic Iran Participation Front, but was barred from standing for election in 2004. Following the unrest in Khuzestan in April 2005, Al-Tamimi wrote to the then-President Khotami calling on him to remove the "...wall of mistrust between the proud Iranian ethnicities, so that the infected wounds of the Arab people of Awaz may heal." He added that, "...our wishful thinking about reforms in Arab affairs by the reformists has been only a mirage," indicating that he no longer had faith in the participation front. He listed a number of grievances, including Violence against Arab demonstrators by security forces Land confiscation The destruction of Arab residential compounds The high level of drug abuse among Iranian Arabs, which he claims is rooted in poverty Racial discrimination and the official view of Arabs as a security threat The government's failure to issue activity permits for the Islamic Wifa Party and affiliated non-governmental organization She indicates that he opposes separatism and the ideology of extreme Persian nationalism," he associates with the previous monarchist government. The Islamic Wifa party claims to have an extensive base of support in Khuzestan. The group was banned in November 2006 and labeled a subversive organization trying to unseat the current system by spreading racial hatred and provoking ethnic clashes. At the same time, three of its leading members were arrested. Al-Awaz Arab People's Democratic Popular Front The Al-Awaz Arab People's Democratic Popular Front is based in London and is led by Mahmoud Ahmad Al-Awazi, a.k.a. Abu Bashar. The group calls for human rights and democracy for Iranian Arabs and believes that Al-Awaz was occupied by Iran in 1925. The ADPF has a number of activists in Iranian custody. Rear Admiral Ali Shamkhani, the Minister of Defense and Logistic Affairs of the Armed Forces, accused Mahmoud Ahmad Al-Awazi of involvement in the April 2005 unrest, while simultaneously claiming that his group had zero popularity amongst Arabs in Khuzestan. The ADPF has also claimed it led what it calls an intifada in Khuzestan. Shamkhani also claimed that Mahmoud Ahmad Al-Awazi was a former member of the Savak the Shah's secret police before the revolution who defected to Iraq during the Iran-Iraq War. It is not known how much, if any, of Shamkhani's claims are true. <laughs> Awaz Arab Renaissance Party The AARP is another separatist group advocating armed resistance to the Iranian government. It was originally set up in the 1990s by the Syrian government, but has since moved its leadership to Canada. In April 2005, it claimed on a pro-Iraqi Ba'athist website that it had exploded a bomb on the Awaz Tehran pipeline. It also claimed responsibility for the June 2005 bombings in Awaz city. Two other groups also separately claimed responsibility for the attacks. It is led by Saba al masawi a Canadian resident. Topic. Democratic Solidarity Party of Al-Awaz The Democratic Solidarity Party of Al-Awaz based in the US and the UK, claiming to represent the Iranian Arabs of Khuzestan. The DSPA's ideology is different from the separatists in that it explicitly rejects the use of violence and advocates what it calls, "...internal self-determination." It also limits its territorial focus on Khuzestan, making no stand on Arab populated living outside the province. The DSPA claims that Khuzestan has a historical Arab identity and this means that the province should be given autonomy within a federal political system, but it says it respects Iran's territorial integrity. To achieve its ends, it has formed a coalition with like minded parties representing Kurds, Azeris, Baluchis, Turkmen, and Lurs, some of which have been in armed conflict with the Iranian state. 
Formed in London in March 2005, the Congress of Nationalities for a Federal Iran CNFI brought together the DSPA, the Baluchistan United Front, Federal Democratic Movement of Azerbaijan, Democratic Party of Iranian Kurdistan, Baluchistan People's Party, Organization for Defense of the Rights of Turkmen People and Kamala, a militant Kurdish opposition party. Awaz Liberation Organization The Awaz Liberation Organization based in Maastricht in the Netherlands, was formed out of the remnants of three Iraqi-backed groups, the Democratic Revolutionary Front for the Liberation of Arabistan People's Front for Liberation of Arabistan and the Arab Front for the Liberation of Al-Awaz It is a secular pan-Arabist group seeking independence from Iran. The DRFLA was the most notorious, having been sponsored by Saddam Hussein. It was founded after the newly installed Islamic government fired on Arab demonstrators in Khorramshahr, killing many of them. The DRFLA was behind the May 1980 Iranian embassy siege in London, taking a number of hostages in an effort to draw attention to its demands for the self determination of the Arab population of Khuzestan. The British Special Air Service SAS stormed the building and freed the hostages. Fauzi Badavi Najad, the only survivor of that group, had survived only because some of the embassy hostages had put themselves between him and the SAS soldiers. Some evidences indicated the Iraqi intelligence services had duped Najad into taking part in the siege. The evidence showed that once he knew the true nature of the group's plans, he only continued because he feared that his family, who had fled from Iran to Iraq, would suffer if he tried to withdraw the last hostage. The ALO's constituent groups operated as a mercenary force on behalf of Saddam's regime during the Iran Iraq War, carrying out assassinations and attacking oil facilities. Bomb attacks on oil and power facilities have continued since the end of the Iraq War, although the ALO has not formally claimed responsibility. The ALO's leader, the self-styled President of Al Awaz, Fela Abdallah Al Mansouri, was living in exile in the Netherlands since 1989, shortly after the end of the Iran Iraq War, gaining Dutch nationality. He declared himself to be the President of Al Awaz, which he claims extends beyond Khuzestan, including much of the coast of Iran. However, during a visit to Syria in May 2006, he was arrested along with Iranian Arabs who were registered as refugees by the UNHCR. See also List of modern conflicts in the Middle East Politics of Khuzestan Province Avaz bombings 2011 Khuzestan protests Khuzestan, the first front in the war on Iran, by Zoltan Grossman. <laughs>